YouTube, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! here today, and this is going to be a sales video. So I have probably, I don't know, 150 to 200 cards here that we're going to go through with, um, individually with a price that I think is, is kind of a pretty good deal. Tried to look up previously sold items on eBay and, and take off a little chunk. So hopefully you guys can find some good deals. The point of contact is going to be my Instagram, vintage underscore Yu-Gi-Oh. So don't try to comment on here and claim stuff. I'm, I'll look at the comments, but try to message me on Instagram. That's where you'll reach me best. So we're going to start off with just a couple Pokemon cards, and then all the rest are going to be Yu-Gi-Oh, ranging from DDS Blue Eyes, to LOB pieces, um, to LOB Commons promos, um, Pharaoh Servant, Lurvis and Nightmare, any any and all old school goodies. Um, a, lot, a lot of good stuff here. So like I said, hopefully you guys can find some good deals here and hopefully I can get rid of some extra cards. So we're gonna start it off with a PSA 9 Lucky Stadium. Got a little whitening up on that corner. I'd like $150 for Lucky Stadium. Birthday Pikachu, PSA 9. This pack fresh. Um, just a little edge whitening. I'd like $60 each. So I have two of them, so $60 each. Um, obviously, if you buy buy um, a lot, I'll, I'll do a little discount, but these prices are pretty firm. You're not going to find any better prices. Um, I'm actually not going to sell this Polyrath because it goes for so cheap in PSA 9. I'm just going to keep it. Um, but yeah, the more you buy, I'll give you a little discount. But these are pretty, pretty firm prices. Um, if you're just going to buy one card, it's going to be free shipping. If you buy, uh, you know, a lot, well, it'll be kind of a discounted shipping, but not anything too crazy if you're in the United States. If you're, um, outside the United States, um, you cover shipping. So the last Pokemon card we have is Umbreon, Mint 9, and I would like around $160 for this beautiful looking piece of cardboard. It is got a little white nick down here and a line right through the, the, there. So that's it on Pokemon. All right, so here's some bigger, bigger hitters on Yu-Gi-Oh, we have Blue Eyes, White Dragon, near Mint, Mint 8, um, $1,000. Blue Eyes, Shining Dragon, Retro Pack 2, Gym Mint 10, $1,100. All USD, all PayPal. Friends and family, you can send goods and services, but it's going to be a 3% fee. Um, I am I think I'm well known enough to not be scamming people and... Uh, uh, you can, I can still get screwed pretty hard doing goods and services. So majestic star dragon. I think this is a pop six now. Jim at 10 and I would like $800. Okay. So then we're going to have some exodia limbs here. We have a PSA nine left leg and then two BGS nine left legs. All first edition, I would like $350 each. Chaos Emperor Dragon, first edition, mint nine. Uh, I would like around $300. This card's went up a lot. Um, unbanned now, so this is a mint copy, just off-centered high to low. So We have a wavy... Swords of Revealing Light, Mint 9. Um, it's got a little print defect here and a little off-centered is why it got a 9. And $150 is the asking price. Another card that's really shot up. Um, I think a couple have sold for close to $800. Um, but hopefully if someone sees this, they're gonna. I think they're going to get a good deal. I'm wanting $650 
for it. Gym at 10, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. We have a Gym at 10, Toon Summon Skull from Magic Ruler, and I would like around 150 for it. So those are the bigger cards. Um, have a Mint 9, Toon Summon Skull, around 75, and a Black Illusion Ritual around $30 for Mint 9. Just off-centered. So some of these uh, commons, if you guys buy enough from me, I'll just, I'll give you some of these commons. Um, you just have to tell me which ones you want. So not really any price on, on this one. Swamp Battle Guard and Ancient Brain. Um, if either one, anyone wants these, I'd sell them for probably 20, 22 ish, 22, 25. Um, I'd like about $20, um, after shipping. So about 22, 23. Then we have a Kribo PSA 10. These things kind of are all over the place. I'd like $175 for this little fur ball. Cosagen, Jim Mint 10 would like $150 for that. And then we have a Mint 9 Tribute to the Doomed. Uh, just 25 bucks. So, um, old school first edition hollow. I mean, 25 bucks for Mint 9. It's not going to find them any cheaper. Um, let's see. This confiscation though, uh, I'd, I'd do $25 as well. So first edition, all these are American English, so, um, and most are first edition unless they can't be. So Sword Hunter, really cool short print from Vera Servant. Have a couple of them. Uh, I'd like $30 each. This card is just really cool. Um, should have been a hollow in my opinion over some of the, the supers. Should have been an ultra in my opinion. Harpy's Brother, um, just a, a card I like, uh, 20, 25 bucks, somewhere around there. So if you're interested in that, let me know. We have a Parasite Parasite. Uh, I'd like around 30, 25 to $30 on this. And then on the 10 copy, I would like around $50, $50. We'll get this for you. Then we have a Grave Robber, Gym at 10. Really cool, nostalgic card. Would like $85, $85. So I think one sold for around 100 on eBay. So trying to cut out the fees for me and cut, save some money for you guys. So, And the Grave Robber, Mint 9, I'd like $45. Okay, mirror wall, Jim Mint 10. Nice foil on that. Uh, would like $50, so pretty cheap super. And for the nine, I would like $25. The nine, Gear Freed the Iron Knight, I would like $30. Fairy Meteor Crush, looking for $30 as well. And Backup Soldier, Mint 9, looking for only $15. So that is, I mean, cost 10 to 12 bucks to, to grade this. So, I mean, um, good deal there, I think. Call the Haunted, Mint 9. Uh, really cool, and creepy, nostalgic card. Like $50. And another really cool, creepy card, Premature Burial, Mint 9, $40. Buster Blader, really nostalgic card. Half of Dark Paladin, I would like $325 for this Gym Mint 10. Fiend Mega Cyber, Mint 9, 35 Legendary Fisherman, really nostalgic anime card with Meku Tsunami. Near Mint 8.5 this is an older graded card. They really don't give out the 0.5s anymore. Only because of the centering is why I got an 8.5. I'd like around $70. 
Goblin Attack Force. See, this is a card I think Sword Hunter should have replaced potentially. Um, $35. And um, this piece of Talwar I pulled myself. Um, just a little off centered. Mint 9 with like $30. Okay, so the last chunk of cards, there's going to be a bunch of LOB cards, so those should go fast. Uh, I'm getting at 10 minutes here. Hinokagusuchi, I would like $40 for this Mint 9. Royal Command, I would like a $100 bill for this. A reprint. Guy of the Dragon Champion, really shiny, beautiful card, $30, and it's yours, Mint 9. Um, limited Toon World out of a 2003-10, so it's still got the magic on it, so an older card, older and limited, I'd like $50. Just a really cool, creepy card. Um, newer number, but uh, definitely an older card with the magic on there. And it's in the new PSA case, and I really like these new PSA cases with out the cellophane on the back now, so you can see the front and back really, really well. We have an um, Elemental Hero Dark Bright, Ultra Rare from Tactical Evolution, and I would like 70 to $75 for this. An Ultimate Rare Garlandoff King of Destruction, um, Mint 9. I'd be like between forty and fifty dollars. Just really hard to grade ultimates, and this thing is beautiful, but just could not get the ten. I'm gonna butcher this name. I'm gonna say Hero Hero Kosphinx from the Lost Millennium Ultimate Rare uh, Gem at ten, and I'm gonna ask eighty dollars. There's one on eBay, I think, for a hundred. So. Tiny, tiny market of, of buyers, but uh, if you're interested in Ultimate Tens, uh, I think that's about as cheap as you'll find for that card. Defense Tactics from Gladiators Assault Gym at 10 um, would like around $50. Just once again, not a really sought after card, but if you're into Ultimates um, and Tens especially, you're not going to find that for cheaper. A card, really beautiful card here. Sun Dragon Entai, um, Gym at 10, pulled this myself, just really stunning. I would like close to $100 to this. Uh, I think it's worth it, it's just, it's just got some really cool artwork. I have two Alchemist of Black Spells, I'd like $25 each, and these are both 10 worthy in my opinion, so. I think one's Euro printed and one is uh, North American printed. And then we have a Z-Man the Ape King, $15. So this, and I'd probably go down to 12. And Flint um, would like around $12 as well. So just pretty much what it costs to grade. Okay, we're in the last chunk here, and then we're gonna have some TP cards, and then we're gonna have a bunch of LOB commons and a few rares. So, XYZ Dragon Cannon, Mint 9, 40 bucks. Gym Mint 10, I believe I have way too many of these. I have three of them, and I'd like $85, $90 each. Negate Tech, PSA 8. Uh, nostalgic card for me, I played this a lot on the Eternal Duel Soul game. 12 bucks, what it cost to grade. PCY Karibo, Jim at 10, $40. Harpy's Pet Dragon from Forbidden Memories. My Valentine, this nostalgic card, Jim at 10. I'm asking 180. Metal Morph, near mid mid eight, just asking $25. 
Alpha, the Magnet Warrior Mint 9, $25. And the other two pieces in Gym Mint 10, asking $55 to $60 each. If you buy all three, um, let's see, what would that be, 145? I could probably do 125 for all three. We have the three God cards, Slifer, Obelisk, and Raw. Raw got a nine. Uh, would like 250 for each of the tens and 125 for Raw and nine. So that'd be uh, 625. I'd do 600 for all three. Gores, limited edition Retro Pack 2. Uh, $55 and Green Baboon. I have two of these in Gym Mint 10, the limited edition variety, and I'd like 45 each for them. Okay. Dark Magician Girl RDS promo. I would like $50. Then Judgment of Anubis R RDS promo would like $65. Okay, so now we're in the tournament pack cards. Patrol Robo, uh, Mint 9. Can't find much date on this. Uh, it's a really clean copy, just off high to low. I would like 90 to $100. No less, no less than 90. Elf Slight, Gym Mint 10. I'd like $200. This is way cheaper than any, uh, any Elf Slight on eBay right now. And, uh, one of the harder rares to pull for sure, and got really lucky with that. And this near mint mint eight copy, um, forty dollars would get it. So, Ramey I mint nine, thirty dollars. Gus fan nine, thirty five dollars, and Gus fan ten. $120. Tiger Axe, I believe I have two of these. Yep, I'd like $100 each. Beast King of the Swamps, pulled this myself, $100 each. And then all these TP1 commons um, that are Jim at 10, Giant Flea, Bean Soldier. Let's see what we got here. Corroding Shark. Wow Warrior. Um, Hercules Beetle times two. And Cockroach Knight. I would like, if you're gonna buy one, $30. And if you buy multiple, we could get down to about 20, $22 to $25 each. Plus a little shipping fee. Call the Haunted, or Call the Haunted, Call the Grave, um, PSA 9. Uh, I think this card is significantly undervalued, but I'm willing to sell it for $50. Sonic Made. Um, this is really impossible to find any tournament pack 2 in Gym Mint 10 condition. I would like $125. So I need um, tournament pack 2, 10. I would like $40 for the common. So Dancing Elf and like Spirit of the Books and all these other, a couple of these other cards that aren't tens, I would throw in if you guys buy um, stuff and you guys want a specific card. So 40, to, uh, I'd probably do 35 on this one, but would like 40 on Water Magician as well. I mean, if you guys want to buy a nine, I'd sell these for um, probably 15 bucks. And even though this is an eight, it's one of the harder and uh, more aesthetically pleasing ones, probably 15 bucks still. And once again, harder to find data on this magical arm shield, not many sell, but I think it's worth in nine condition, about $150. I sold a 10 for over 400, so. And then we have a Dunamis Dark Witch, 
Jim Mint Toon. Um, once again, no data, but just, I mean, look at that art, beautiful. I would like $325 for the 10, and for the nine, I would like $125. Okay, so now we're gonna get into a bunch of LOB commons. So all these LOB commons, if um, it's pretty much gonna be either $30 or um, $40 or $50. So a lot of them are gonna, well, once again, this stack I think is all eights and nines and a few, maybe a few sevens. If you buy enough, I'll sell these for, um, if you buy enough, a, a couple will be free to you. Or if, and then if you don't buy enough and you still want a couple of these, um, they'll probably be like $10 each. But if you're just gonna buy one, um, I gotta have at least 15. So Tatsumi Giant, Mint 9, Skull Servant, Mint 9. I mean, you guys can see the grades. I guess I don't really need the same. Basic Insect, Silver Fang, Flame Manipulator, Fiend Reflection, number two, Furious Sea King. So this Beast Fang, Mint 9, I'd still like $25, these short prints. I have two of them. Um, field spells. Um, I'd like um, around $20, $18, $20. $20. Man Eater. And Warrior number one. Oh, shit. Our Mail. Man Eight. Friends Panda. Channing Mermaid, uh, Mystic Moon, Mint 9, once again, like at least $25. $25 from Machine Conversion Factory, Mint 9, Shipwire Beast, and Skull Red Bird. So all the rest here should be Jim Mint 10s. So I'd like $30 for the Vanillas, and um, um, $40 for the Field Spells, and 50 for shorter prints and I will tell you what's what here. So all these here at the beginning are gonna be $30. Um, this one's gonna be 35 just because uh, it's a little more sought after. So pretty much I have a, almost all of LLB common sets here. Um, some of the short prints I don't have, or they've already been sold, but a lot of the vanillas here I have duplicates of. So, all these are $30, except the Trial of Hell was um, 35 Six sheet number two, Asaki the Legendary Swordsman. All right, pile number one. We got two more like that, and then we have some rares. So, Karama. So then we're in, into some short prints. Power of Cation, um, $50. All these field um, spells are gonna be $40. Wasteland, I think I have a complete set. Mountain. Sogan, two times, three times apparently, so. Umi. Yami, so those are $40, and then we're back to um, $30 for Red Medicine.
Sparks, Hiyotama, Move Trap. Once again, all North American English, and all of these should be tens in chronological order. So if you know a number that you need and you haven't seen it, um, I don't have it. So we're at 63. So if, if you haven't seen a card you need before 63, I don't have it available. Beaver Warrior, a couple of them. Hopefully this video is not too boring, but hopefully you guys are finding something that you'd like to buy. So, Witty Phantom's a really cool, cool card. All right, one more stack of tins here and then some rares, and that's gonna wrap it up for us. So hopefully another three or four minutes here. Hard Armor. Terror the Terrible. Metabat. Fire Yaru. One on Shield Dragon. Okay, so now we're back in the um, $50 cards. Those were 30. We got Dark Energy, Electro Whip. We got at least three copies of that. Three copies of Electro Whip. So all those are going to be $50 each. Machine Conversion Factory is going to be $50. A really cool one right here, raised body heat, fifty dollars. Follow in, fifty dollars, and then back to thirty dollars. Spike Cedra, sandstone, dark world thorns, drooling wizard, armored starfish, and the last common in the set. Succubus Knight. So all those there to finish are gonna be $30. All right, and then we have some rares here. Um, like, even though it's a near mint mid eight, um, one of the more nostalgic rares, Spirit of the Harp, 25 bucks. Two prong attack, mint nine, 20 bucks. We have a Carbona Warrior, mint nine, 20 bucks. Dragon Capture Jar, um, $50. And we have a couple of Carbona Warriors here, I think $50 each for them. And Stop the Fence and Final Flame would like $50 each for them. So those rares are pretty good buys, I think. Just trying to get rid of some inventory here. So we're at 28 minutes. So hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know how many cards I have here for sale, but a lot. So once again, comment to my Instagram, vintage underscore Yu-Gi-Oh, same as my YouTube name. So if you guys are interested in things, let me know. Let me know if you're from the United States. Um, let me know what all you're wanting to buy. Like I said, prices are pretty firm, a little ne negotiable the more you buy. Um, I'll either sell, throw in some some freebies, um, mostly from the LOB Mint 9 stack or uh, a random MRD comment or something like that, or I'll just give you um, a slight discount. So uh, hopefully you guys can find something you like to buy here, and uh, both parties will win. So thanks for watching, sticking to the end. Um, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do a couple top um, top 10 series and 100 most valuable Yu-Gi-Oh cards and things like that. Some openings I've got planned. So be on the lookout for that. So um, subscribe if you're not. And as always, thanks for watching.